Chapter 576, Hundred Empire War, Begin The morning sunlight contained a trace of coolness as it scattered down from all over the sky, wrapping the entire Wangxiang city within it. The fiery heat within the Wangxiang city had already reached at extreme level after having been brewed for two days. Everyone's eyes were wildly hot with anticipation. They had left their various empires and arrived at this ancient battlefield, where the competition was extremely intense. All of them trained bitterly in this place for a year just in order to be able to obtain a good result in the Hundred Empire War. This was in hopes of finally catching the eye of a super sect and allow the value of one's empire to soar. That big battle which they had all waited for one year had finally begun. The various talents or monsters that had come from countless number of empires were finally going to fight in this place and determine the winner. The true leaders of the younger generation within these eastern Xian region empire would also appear in this place. While the entire city was heated up, a couple of figures were slowly walking out from a small yard in the southeastern corner of the city. It was Lin Dong's group. Lin Dong raised his head and watched the hot sun in the sky. A smile surfaced on his face. He had also waited one year for this day. Little Flame was carrying a black-colored metal rod behind Lin Dong. The shadow that was created from his muscular body had covered most of Lin Dong's body. At a glance, he gave one a kind of intense and powerful pressure. Standing beside, Little Martin still had a lazy attitude, appearing completely different from the intense pressure that Little Flame emitted. His handsome face appeared a little demon-like under the shine of the sunlight. However, So Kui and the rest were aware that this person, whom they had witnessed fighting once before, was the most unfathomable one amongst the three of them. So Kui gave an inexplicable emotional sigh within his heart when he saw Lin Dong's group. From the first impression one got by looking at them, Lin Dong was inferior to Little Flame in his size and strength and was inferior to Little Martin in terms of appearance. Moreover, his strength might not even be the strongest amongst the three. Yet, the one who truly made the decision amongst them was him. After having lived together for a period of time, So Kui was also aware of some of the matters regarding Lin Dong within this ancient battlefield. From the occasional conversation, he was aware that Little Flame and Little Martin were not as outstanding as they were current at the beginning. At that time, all the battles in the outside world were personally boned by Lin Dong, who appeared to be the most ordinary amongst the three. So Kui looked at Lin Dong who had raised his head and looked at the sun. The latter suddenly opened his arms and the sunlight shone onto his body, emitting a kind of uncontrolled heat. His glow was actually even more dazzling than Little Martin or Little Flame by his side at this moment. He would become the most dazzling person in this ancient battlefield. This unknown thought suddenly flashed across So Kui's heart. Immediately, he turned his head, only to see that So Ruo by his side was using her beautiful large eyes to stare at the figure in front. Her pretty face contained a faint bright redness. That figure, who had spreaded his arms under the sunlight, gave her the feeling of him being able to hold the sky even if it crumbled. That kind of feeling actually looked even more solid than the back of her big brother who had been protecting her in the past. Cough. So Kui coughed softly, waking the young lady beside him. The latter immediately lowered her head from the shock. The tip of her delicate ears had become red. So Kui helplessly shook his head. After little Martin had lent a hand, So Ruo had finally began to barely control a little of the enormous energy within her body during these two days. Although there was a limit, the strength that erupted suddenly would also be quite frightening. However, Su Ruo's character did not experience much change despite the increase in her strength. Her gentle and weak manner caused Su Kui to be a little worried about her ability to endure the harshness of the Hundred Empire War. Let's go. Su Kui's soft cough had also caused Lin Dong to recover. Immediately, the corner of his mouth was slowly lifted into a bright smile. He waved his hand and walked out of the door. The others immediately followed closely behind him. The eastern gate of the Wangxiang city was already completely filled with people. Black masses of human heads spread out from within the city like a black-colored wave. The black wave permeated everywhere. There was a tall slope outside of the city. 
An incomparably large light curtain had spread apart in a circular shape at the tall slope, extending all the way to the horizon. When one's eyes looked past the light curtain, it was possible to see the wild forest that was within it. There was a kind of vague tragic aura that spread from within it. Every hundred empire war would erupt at this place. Many dark horses had appeared here and gained glory in this place. However, there were also many geniuses who had fallen in this place and became a stepping stone for others in their path to glory. Various empires occupied different positions on the city wall. The ones at the front were naturally the most dazzling four super empires. The scene was swept over the entire area before finally gathering onto the area in front of the Wind Cloud Empire. Feng King was standing with his hands behind him at that spot. His mind no longer had the kind of fury from two days ago. Instead, he appeared unusually dark and sinister. Of course, the only thing that did not change was the densely cold killing intent within his eyes. Quite a number of people faced each other. They vaguely sensed the blood within their bodies were showing signs of boiling. Subsequently, all of them would enter that core area, where the final competition would begin. At the same time, they would also witness a sensational fight. Swoosh! A sound of wind being split suddenly appeared in the midair while the hot blood in the bodies of countless number of people were boiling. After which, a number of people landed onto the city wall amidst exclamations that appeared one after another. It's Lin Dong's group. Countless number of gazes swept towards this group while the exclamations sounded. Finally, they were focused on the figure that had suddenly appeared. The already sinister expression of Feng Kang, who was at the front of the city wall, became even darker and deeper. He slowly turned his head and his pair of dark chili blade-like eyes shot towards Lin Dong. Lin Dong raised his head, showing no signs of shrinking back as he faced Feng Kang. The dark and chilly killing intent that seeped out from their crossing eyes appeared to cause even the air above the wall to solidify slightly. Feng Kang parted the corner of his mouth revealing his dense white teeth. He extended his thumb towards Lin Dong before pointing it down. His eyes appeared ferocious. The surroundings were in a clamor. This Feng King seemed to have made up his mind to kill Lin Dong's group this time around. A fierceness permeated around Little Flame as he looked at the provoking attitude of Feng Kang. His hand held the metal rod on his shoulder and had an impulse to charge forward. However, he was finally stopped by Lin Dong with a wave of the latter's hand. Everyone! A faint powerful voice was suddenly transmitted from the midair after Lin Dong stopped Little Flame. Everyone raised their heads and saw Song Tai, who was suspended in the midair. Next, anyone who possess the Nirvana seal will have the qualification to enter this area. However, I will remind everyone here that one is allowed to enter this place but not allowed to leave. As long as one enters it, one would end up facing the most merciless competition. There is no pity inside, only victors. Song Tai's eyes that had suddenly become stern caused the expressions of quite a number of people to change. Their faces became volatile. I think all of you should be aware that the super sex will only select the most outstanding people. The only way for all of you to prove how outstanding you are is by defeating your opponents and snatch their nirvana seals. Once you have absorbed a sufficient amount of Nirvana seals, the Nirvana seal in your palm will gradually turn into a purple-gold color. At the time you completely possess the purple-gold Nirvana seal, you will possess the qualification to advance into the Nirvana gold ranking and catch the eye of those super sex. Lin Dong focused his eyes. It was unexpected that this Hundred Empire War was so harsh. One must snatch the Nirvana seal from the hands of others if one wished to advance into the Nirvana gold ranking. This was similar to breeding a poison bug. One would place hundreds of them into a container. The final survival was the most outstanding amongst them all. The Hundred Empire War only recognizes victory. It does not recognize defeat. If you are mentally prepared, then, begin. Now is the time to prove your one year of training. Song Tai pointed towards the light curtain at the front that seemed to extend towards the sky. His low and deep voice sounded beside everyone's ears. Countless number of people raised their heads. 
Their eyes stared at the light curtain as traces of wild heat slowly climbed into them. How could they shrink back at this moment? Let's go. A low and deep roars were emitted from some unknown spot. Immediately, the heavens and earth shook. A frightening tide surged out like a locust swarm. Finally, they rushed through the sky and charged into the enormous light barrier like moths pouncing into a flame. Lin Dong, follow me in and today will be the day you die. Feng King roared towards the sky from the city wall. His eyes were scarlet as he stared at Lin Dong in a dense manner. After which, his body rushed forward, leading the large group of people from the Wind Cloud Empire as well as a monstrous killing intent as he arrogantly charged into the light barrier. Lin Dong raised his head. He looked at the backs of Feng King. With a gentle lick of his lips, he smilingly asked, Everyone, are you ready? Yes. Everyone behind parted their mouths and smiled. Fighting intent proudly stood in their eyes. There was not the least fear within them. Subsequently, they would face the strongest super empire within the Wangxiang city. Let's go. Lin Dong laughed out loud. His laughter was like a thunder as he cupped his hands towards Song Tai in the mid-air. Master Song, thank you for your help. However, leave everything else to us. Lin Dong's body rushed out after his laughter sounded. He brought about waves of rushing wind sound as he charged towards the light barrier. Little Flame and the others followed closely behind with a monstrous fighting intent. Song Tai watched Lin Dong's group from the sky as they charged into the light barrier with a monstrous fighting intent. An admiration flashed across his eyes. He knew that if Lin Dong's group could pass this trial, their reputation would likely shake the entire core region. Whether they were dragons or mere worms would be determined by this battle. Chapter 577A, Face Off The moment that they charged into the light barrier, everyone could sense an indescribable tragic aura pouncing towards them. Immediately, it caused the Yuan power within the bodies of quite a number of people to churn intensely. All of them hurriedly stopped their bodies. Upon stopping, those many gazes immediately turned towards this core region. After which, their expression became slightly dull. The interior and the outside was only separated by a light barrier. However, they appeared to be two completely different time. The sunlight outside was warm but this place contained a thread of chillness. The entire sky was not blue. Instead, it was a kind of dark red color. One's eyes would reflect the red glow when one raised one's head and took a look. The place appeared exceptionally strange. There was a vast and seemingly endless primitive forest under the dark red sky. Enormous trees that were a thousand feet tall stood beside each other, causing one to be unable to see its edge. It was as though the entire place was borderless. There were also the occasional soul-stirring roar from a beast being emitted from the forest. Those roars contained an endless amount of fierceness. This was a dangerous place. The vast and mighty people that had entered this region from the Wangxiang city directly broke the original silence of this place. The sky was densely packed with human figures suspended in it. Their gazes were filled with surprise and fiery heat as they looked at this place. This would be their final competition arena. They were aware that there would definitely be many experts surging into this vast place from many other regions. Soon after, they would meet at a certain spot within this core area. Finally, they would end up fighting in order to absorb the Nirvana seal in the other party's hands. The victor and the loser would be determined by the result of this one year of training. Of course, before that, they would first observe a soul-stirring face-off that was sufficient to boil their blood. Nah. A group of figures with overflowing killing intent rushed out in front of the countless number of gazes before finally landing on a desolated forest a short distance away. Dark and cold evil ghost-like eyes stared intently at the entrance of the light barrier behind them. Lin Dong, come out. Feng Kang's low and deep roar was permeated with the desire to kill. Are you so anxious to give your heavenly soul treasure to others? A laughter was transmitted from within the light curtain. Lin Dong's group also broke through the light barrier before appearing in this core region. A wild and violent smile slowly appeared on Feng Kang's face as he watched Lin Dong's group stepping into this place. 
he knew that Lin Dong would no longer have any retreat path in this place. He could do as he like and torture this fellow, who had infuriated him to the point of being better off dead. Lin Dong's group also gradually descended from the sky while being watched by many people. They landed on a large tree not far in front of Feng Kang's group. A smile was contained on their faces and there was no sign of any fear. The Lone Moon Empire, Forest Empire, and Luo Empire, the three other super empires from the Wangxiang city, also revealed themselves at a short distance away. However, they also did not leave this place immediately. Instead, their eyes were watching the face off in front of them in a searing hot manner. This kind of collision was something that even they could not easily ignore. Although I do not know where you get the confidence to enter this core region from, your courage has surprised me. I will get someone to deliver your corpse back to your empire after the Hundred Empire War is over. Feng King parted his mouth towards Lin Dong in a dense manner and said. Lin Dong ignored this irritating fellow. His eyes swept over the experts from the Wind Cloud Empire and softly uttered, Leave Feng King to me. I will deal with that Meng Lai. Little Flame waved the metal rod in his hand, bringing about a rumbling tearing wind sound as he spoke in a vast and mighty voice. You leave the weakest one to me? Don't tell me that the both of you already think that your ability have already exceeded mine. Little Martin narrowed his eyes and asked playfully. This is the core region. There will definitely be experts from the super sex observing this place. We must be careful. It is best for you to avoid fighting as much as possible. Lin Dong smiled and said. Moreover, you must also take care of little Ruo and the rest when you deal with Luo Tong. The Wind Cloud Empire has recruited quite a number of experts while we are ultimately short in numbers. Little Martin curled his mouth and said, Relax. This girl is currently not as weak as you think. The strength that she unleash for a short period of time is something that even you will find troublesome to deal with. How can I be compared with Big Brother Lin Dong? Suro by the side softly said with a red face. Little Ruo, the matter of protecting your brother and the rest will be your duty. We will not be able to divert our attention when the time comes. Lin Dong smilingly uttered. Su Ruo clenched her small hand tightly. She nodded in a somewhat determined manner. This time around, she would definitely not allow herself to be a burden to Lin Dong's group. Lin Dong finally slowly stepped forward in front of the numerous eyes after seeing this. Mighty Yuan power slowly whizzed out from within his body like a tide when he stepped forward. Three Yuan Nirvana stage? Is this your ability? Challenging across the stages? You you think that I am those trash whom you have met in the past. Feng King involuntarily laughed out loud towards the sky after seeing the Yuan power that surged out from within Lin Dong's body. His laughter was filled with ridicule. I am already at the peak of the four Yuan Nirvana stage. If you only have this little ability, you will have really disappointed me. Feng King strided forward. The surging Yuan power of someone from the peak of the four Yuan Nirvana stage erupted from him. It swept over the sky, forming a pressure that covered Lin Dong from all directions. Under the mighty strength of Feng Kang's surging Yuan power, Lin Dong's aura was clearly at a disadvantage. Regardless of how one put it, Feng King was definitely stronger when it came to a competition between the strength of Yuan power alone. If this is what you really think, you will also have disappointed me. However, Lin Dong merely smiled in the face of the vast and mighty pressure from Feng Kang. A thought passed through his mind. The Yuan power, mental energy, and devouring power surged out at the same time. Finally, they were completely poured into the ancient universe formation above his danshan. Boom boom. A low explosive sound flowed within Lin Dong's veins. Finally, it spread to all of his limbs. His body remained quiet for an instant before a wave of strange grayish-black energy suddenly began to erupt from within his body. The grayish-black colored energy was not very strong and it could not be compared with Feng Kang's aura that spread through the sky. However, the moment this energy appeared, the Yuan power pressure that was originally suppressing Lin Dong completely collapsed. The pressure that originated from Feng Kang totally vanished within a few hundred feet around Lin Dong. 
what a strange energy! This sudden change had caused everyone to be startled. They did not understand why Lin Dong's original pure Yuan power would suddenly be transformed into such an unusual energy. However, this kind of energy clearly rode above the pure Yuan power. Otherwise, it would be impossible for it to cause Feng Kang's four Yuan Nirvana stages mighty Yuan power to collapse until such an extent. This Lin Dong does indeed have something to support him. The eyes of Mu Lin and the others also contained a dense shock as they watched this scene. Clearly, they were all surprised by this move from Lin Dong. It will be more interesting this way. Otherwise, the whole thing will be too boring. A surprise flashed over Feng Kang's face. Immediately, he gave a dense smile. Both of his eyes instantly became stern and cold in the next moment. He extended his long finger and cut it through the air. Slash slash. A fierce wind was suddenly formed after the finger slashed downwards. Two hundred over feet large Yuan power wind blades directly formed over his fingers. After which, they tore through the air and rushed towards Lin Dong with lightning-like speed. Swoosh! Lin Dong's body shook. He directly transformed into an afterimage that rushed out. The grayish-black merged force agglomerated over the surface of his body like a grayish-black meteorite. It shot out in a straight line and collided head-on with the two sharp Yuan power blades. Bang! A low explosion was emitted from the sky. Two Yuan power wind blades were blasted apart. The grayish-black light rushed out and appeared in front of Feng Kang. Fist shadows whizzed out, appearing just like a storm. It contained a shocking fierceness as it covered Feng Kang's body. Humph! Feng Kang merely let out a cold snort in the face of this fiercely violent attack from Lin Dong. The seal formed by his hands changed, mighty Yuan power transformed into a numerous rotating tornado that completely blocked Lin Dong's storm like fist shadows. Boom boom boom! The punches exploded onto the Yuan power swirling wind. Each contact unleashed an ear-piercing sound. At the end, it basically formed a continuous noise that spread over the sky in a deafening manner. Following the release of that sonic wave, there was a fierce ripple that erupted due to the intense collision. It had only been a short ten seconds. However, the two of them had already made dozens of exchanges with an extremely fierce stance. That collision was greatly shocking to one's eyes. The entire area was completely silent as they watched this scene. The expressions of quite a number of people changed a little. Just the remnant ripple that spread apart was sufficient to frighten some three Yuan Nirvana stage experts. They really had difficulty imagining how Lin Dong was able to rely on his three Yuan Nirvana stage's strength to fight head-on in such a manner with Feng Kang, who had reached the peak of the four Yuan Nirvana stage. The two of them had yet to unleash any powerful martial arts until this point and they were challenging each other to see how strong their foundation was. This lad did indeed possess an ability that an ordinary person was unaware of in order to have the courage to directly face the anger of a super empire. Bang! Another extremely fierce collision occurred. Frightening Yuan power swept apart. Lin Dong's and Feng Kang's bodies were shaken until they took over ten steps back. Their breathing were a little heavier compared to before. However, the fierceness in their eyes was becoming increasingly intense. Meng Lai, lead the others and finish all of them off. Leave Lin Dong for me to deal with. Feng Kang's face was ferocious as he cried out in a sinister manner. Understood. A cruel smile surfaced on Meng Lai's face when he heard this. He nodded. An evilness was revealed in his eyes as they turned towards Little Flame's group a short distance away. Boom! Little Flame stepped forward. The metal rod in his hand tore through the air. A monstrous aura spread apart. At this moment, he appeared just like a fierce beast once again awakening from his slumber. Second brother, I am going to attack. Blood surged within Little Flame's eyes. He let out a buzz as his strong body rushed towards Meng Lai while being accompanied by an enormous shadow. The face-off between both parties had completely erupted at this moment. Chapter 577B, Bloody Battle Boom! Little Flame's muscular figure surged forward with an astonishing repressive force. 
Even Meng Lai's murderous aura was repressed when that kind of overflowing fiendish aura erupted from Little Flame's body. Before Little Flame got close to his target, the black-colored metal pole in his hand already whizzed forward. With a force that was as heavy as a mountain, the pole ripped through the air and blasted ruthlessly towards Meng Lai's vital points. Hey, you're courting your own death, bastard. When Meng Lai saw the incoming Little Flame, his eyes froze due to the overwhelming fiendish aura that was around Little Flame's body. However, a smirk still came out of his mouth. With a grasp of his palms, a mud-colored giant hammer appeared in his hands. He then swung it with both his arms and slammed it down ferociously. Clang! As the metal pole collided against the giant hammer, an ear-piercing sound echoed throughout the air. Ripples of visible energy waves diffused from the collision point with a terrifying speed. Bang! Grumble! The enormous tall tree beneath both of them was being sliced across through its middle and broke in an instant. As the tall tree broke and fell, dust pervaded the sky. That kind of might being displayed was rather horrifying. Swish! As dust filled the sky, the two figures that were overwhelmed with fiendish auras barely came to a standstill before they started to surge forward again without even waiting for the onlookers to return to their senses. The metal pole and the giant hammer collided frantically against each other in the mid-air. Violent waves of wind ripples swept across the area continuously. From afar, Mu Lin and his counterparts were looking at the battle between Little Flame and Meng Lai, while their facial expressions turned increasingly solemn. This big fellow's capabilities are very powerful. He hid his true strength before the Nirvana Monument. Mu Lin slowly said. Mu Han Yu nodded her petite head lightly. There was a strong trace of astonishment in her beautiful eyes. She clearly knew about Meng Lai's capabilities. However, even though the battle before her eyes was exceptionally frantic, that muscular figure did not show the any sign of falling into a disadvantageous position. Furthermore, the kind of fiendish aura that he exuded was much stronger than Meng Lai's, who had numerous lives and blood on his hands. I'm afraid the Lin Dong trio is not as simple as they seem. Mu Lin said in a deep voice. Following which, he shifted his face to the other side where Luo Tong led a group of Wind Cloud Empire's practitioners and surrounded Little Martin, who had yet to take any actions, and his counterparts. Even after being confronted with such situation, the handsome Little Martin's face remained nonchalant without any sign of worrying. Girl, I shall leave the rest of the practitioners to you. Remember, don't let Lin Dong and Little Flame get distracted. Little Martin said indifferently and looked at Luo Tong after stretching his back. Okay. Suro bit her red lips and nodded her head repeatedly. I'm afraid it's not up to you to decide whether they will get distracted or not. Luo Tong sneered. There were five three Yuan Nirvana stage practitioners behind him. With the addition of himself, it would not be much of a problem for this lineup to handle Little Martin and his counterparts. However, just when Luo Tong finished sneering, he saw the corners of Little Martin's mouth curled up into a smirk. Immediately a shiver went down his spine. Before he could say anything, Little Martin's figure oddly disappeared. The fact that Luo Tong was able to step into the four Yuan Nirvana stage proved that he was rather capable. Therefore, when Little Martin's figure disappeared, resplendent golden light and vigorous Yuan power gushed out Little Martin's body. Swoosh. Just when the golden light gushed out, a demon-like figure appeared before Luo Tong's eyes. Then, he saw Little Martin reached out his palm and a slap swept across the air. Clang! As the slap swept across the air, an exceptional violent gale formed and landed on Luo Tong's face with a lightning speed. Immediately, a metallic sound was given off and Luo Tong was sent flying by Little Martin's slap. Stabilizing his distressed figure, Luo Tong's face was still protected by his Nirvana golden body. However, his face still swelled up and appeared extremely comical. You. With a shocked and angry look on his face, Luo Tong stared at Little Martin, who was walking casually towards the former. Luo Tong's readiness had silently reached its highest level. The previous attack from Little Martin had made him realize that this devilish handsome fellow's powers were rather terrifying. 
At least when he fought with Lin Dong that night, the latter did not force him into such distressed state. Actually this fellow is the scariest out of the three of them. This thought mysteriously came up into Luo Tong's mind. Soon after, his body broke into a cold sweat and he clenched his teeth and roared, All of you, take action now and capture that girl. As long as he could capture Su Ro, Lin Dong and his counterparts would not act rashly to prevent any harm to Su Ro. When that moment came, the situation would turn in their favor. Even though it was dishonorable to use such method against a teenage girl, he could not care too much at this point of time. Still have the time to shout out commands hey. Little Martin's facial expression was slightly cold. With a step forward, he oddly vanished again. Upon seeing this, Luo Tong's figure hurriedly retreated. However, after a few seconds, a figure appeared before him like a sticky parasite. A slap flew across the air and Luo Tong was sent flying off again. Do it! When those Wind Cloud Empire's practitioners saw the four Yuan Nirvana stage practitioner being reduced to such sorry state, they could not help but feel stupefied. Without any hesitation and with a roar, they took actions together and reached out their hands towards Su Ro. Upon seeing this, So Kui's facial expression changed drastically. Beside him, Su Ro was biting her lips lightly. Then, she took a step forward and with a rarely seen determination, she spoke with a trembling voice, Big brother, you are not their match. Let me handle this. Little Ro. So Kui was shocked. Before he could say anything, he saw Su Ruo reached out her slender jade white finger and bit it lightly with her mouth. A trace of blood seeped out from the tip of her finger. She then pulled up her sleeves and revealed some weird symbols on her snow white wrist. The blood from her fingertip dripped onto one of the symbols on her wrist and that particular symbol became diluted promptly. As that symbol became diluted, an enormous energy that alarmed So Kui gushed out like a python that woke up from its slumber while displaying a towering might. Weird dark green energy curled around Su Ro's body. Her jet black long hair floated behind her back and was dyed green by that weird energy. As Su Ro raised her head, her elegant face was surging with chilliness. She slowly raised her slender jade white hands and then clenched them abruptly. Bang! A violent, green-colored glowing energy wave suddenly swept across the area. The five three Yuan Nirvana stage practitioners were knocked flying backward and when they landed, they looked extremely pathetic. I can't let all of you distract brother Lin Dong. Su Ro warned in a cold and crisp voice while her body was surging with violent energy and her green glowing eyes were staring at the five wind cloud empire's practitioners, whose facial expressions had changed drastically. They have completely broken out into a fight. The same thought came to everyone's minds as they looked at the battles that erupted simultaneously across the sky. At Lin Dong's side, the battle had gone all out on its offensive and exceeded everyone's expectations. This war was getting more and more interesting. At this moment, the sky had been divided into a few battlegrounds and the most eye-captivating one was between Lin Dong and Feng Kang. Anyone could tell that that these two men were the cores of their respective camps. No matter which one of them lost, it would deal a huge blow to the morale of the loser's camp. Boom! The two demon-like figures fought viciously with a lightning speed in the sky. Waves of thunder-like sounds echoed throughout the sky, setting off fear and trepidation in countless people's heart. One mistake was all it took to lose the battle. Feng Kang's face was gloomy. During the previous exchange, he discovered that he could not thoroughly suppress Lin Dong with his four Yuan Nirvana stages mastery of Yuan power. Is it because of that weird energy? Feng King stared at the grayish-black energy that was surrounding Lin Dong's body. His eye pupils dilated and he could sense that every time Lin Dong and him exchanged blows, a part of his attack's strength would disappear mysteriously. At the same time, Lin Dong's attacks would suddenly become much more stronger. That kind of feeling was as if the strength that he lost had been absorbed by Lin Dong. There's something odd with this fellow, I can't let this battle drag on. As this thought flashed across Feng Kang's mind, his facial expression grew gloomy. He took in a deep breath of air and the surging Yuan power around his body boiled instantly. 
At this moment, his eyes became abnormally intense. Howl! Suddenly, violent gales began to form in the sky. Eventually, the gales materialized into columns of huge tornadoes and terrifying ripping forces swept across the sky ferociously. From this scene, anyone could tell that Feng Kang could not help but use his martial art to try and suppress Lin Dong. Lin Dong, no matter how capable are you, I shall take your pathetic little life. Feng Kang roared towards the sky. Four huge tornadoes spun crazily around his body. From afar, it displayed a formidable might. This is. As Mulin and his counterparts saw this scene, their eye pupils dilated. Apparently, they recognized the powerful martial art that Feng Kang had displayed. Great demonic tornado palm. With a sinister looking face, Feng Kang changed his hand seal and the four tornadoes surged forward abruptly. An exceptionally violent Yuan power lingered within the tornadoes. As the tornadoes surged forward, numerous faintly discernible huge faces formed and seated with a demonic aura. Boom boom! The four gigantic tornadoes ripped across the sky like a terrorizing dragon that was made of wind. Powerful gales directly ripped out four enormous trails in the savage jungle that was beneath the fight. Clearly, the martial art that Feng Qing had displayed was a rather powerful soul martial art. This display of might would make even the face of a four Yuan Nirvana stage practitioner like Mu Lin turn solemn. They knew that if they were the ones fighting Feng Qing, they might have to go all out in order to handle that attack. I may not be good at a lot of things, but I'm strong-willed and that's something nobody can take away from me. Lin Dong raised his head and looked at the four gigantic palm-like tornadoes. With a loud chuckle, his hand seal changed with a lightning speed. Following which, five black-colored beams of light shot out from his body in an instant. Congeal! As the light beams congealed, they materialized into five ancient and huge fingers in the twinkling of an eye. Then, under numerous attentive gazes, the fingers lined up in a straight line and became a big hand that was emitting ancient and savage aura. However, this time around, this big hand was different from the previous one. It was of a dark grayish color and there was an additional trace of mysteriousness to it. As the big hand formed, the dimension of nothingness exploded. A faintly discernible shadow appeared and an extremely powerful aura of might began to pervade the air. Soul Martial Art Numerous gazes were directed at the shadow that came out of the dimension of nothingness and cries of surprise could be heard continuously. The onlookers could sense that the martial art Lin Dong had just displayed was an extremely powerful soul martial art. Great desolate imprisoning heavenly hand, break it. Lin Dong's facial expression was intense. As he abruptly clenched his fist, the shadow that came out of the dimension of nothingness waved its hand at this moment as well. Immediately, the dark grayish big hand whizzed across the air, creating violent vibrations through the airspace that it had whizzed past. Finally, under numerous attentive gazes, the hand landed ferociously onto the palm that was made up of four Yuan power-filled tornadoes. Rumble When the collision took place, it was as if the entire heaven and earth trembled. Waves of ear-splitting rumble resounded frantically throughout the area. Those practitioners who were near to the battleground, were directly affected by the waves of rumble. Immediately, their faces turned pale white and they retreated quickly from the area. I want to see how many times you can withstand my attack. When the tornado's palm was blocked, Feng Kang's facial expression grew increasingly fierce. However, a tinge of solemnness began to develop behind that fierce facial expression. His strength was to supposed to surpass Lin Dong's and he even displayed such powerful soul martial art, and yet he still failed to obtain an advantageous position steadily. No matter what, he did not dare to underestimate Lin Dong's strength anymore. Otherwise, he would be the one who failed miserably in this battle. Clearly, Feng Qing would not allow this to happen. As such, when he saw his tornado's palm was blocked, he took a step forward and waves of vigorous Yuan power gushed out from his body. Changing his hand seal, he formed another four gigantic tornadoes that swept towards Lin Dong with a much fiercer poise. The more attacks you launch at me, the more I shall block them. 
Facing such wild and torrential attacks from Feng Kang, Lin Dong's eyes were burning with battle fury as well. As he flipped his hand, waves of fusion force gushed out from his body continuously. The waves of fusion force eventually materialized into a big hand that blasted towards the tornado's palm with an earth-shattering force. Boom boom boom! Horrifying and wild collisions continued to take place in the sky. Many onlookers' facial expression gradually turned grim when they saw the energy waves that swept across the sky. Usually, this kind of powerful soul martial art consumed an astonishing amount of Yuan power. Currently, the battle between these two individuals had reached its climax. Whoever could not sustain and give up first, he would be devoured by his opponent's formidable attack immediately. From a different perspective, Feng Qing had a huge advantage in this kind of direct confrontation. After all, he was a 4 Yuan Nirvana stage practitioner, which was one level higher than Lin Dong. His mastery of Yuan power was much more refined than Lin Dong's as well. If this battle of attrition continued, Lin Dong would fall into a disadvantageous position. Of course, that was usually the case. However, after Lin Dong displayed that kind of terrifying powers that far exceeded a 3 Yuan Nirvana stage practitioner was capable of, no one would consider him under the usual case. As the battle between Lin Dong and Feng Qing reached its climax, on the other side, the battle between Little Flame and Meng Lai had been fierce and violent all the way since it started. The metal pole and giant hammer were being brandished in the air. Every movement possessed terrifying power that was enough to split open mountains and shatter the earth. It was an exceptionally horrifying sight to behold. Boom! Two muscular figures collided against each other ruthlessly before visible energy ripples swept out from the collision point. Beneath them, the savaged huge jungle blew up into nothing but dust and became a huge piece of flat land. Both figures were knocked back by a violent energy in a sorry state and landed fiercely on the ground, creating a deep and hundred feet long ground trail. Tui! Meng Lai leapt up from the ground with a vicious look on his face and then spat out a mouthful of blood. Faint waves of pain could be felt on his boyd. In the previous exchange, his body had taken more than ten brutal blows from Little Flame. Naturally, Little Flame also received more than ten blows from him at the same time. However, what pissed Meng Lai off was that Little Martin's body was terrifyingly tough. The degree of the damage done by Meng Lai's attacks on Little Flame's body did not reach the former's expectation. Since you dare to play with Daddy, Daddy will play with you until you die. The viciousness on Meng Lai's face was getting obvious. Apparently, he was not happy to be forced by Little Flame into this state. Licking his lips with his scarlet tongue, Meng Lai suddenly opened up his feet and bent his body slightly forward. His muscle began to vibrate with a weird arc. At the same time, impetuous waves of energy extended outward from his feet. At this moment, the huge piece of land surrounding him began to tremble violently. The trembling of the ground became increasingly violent. Eventually, cracks and crevices started to form and extend around Meng Lai's body. At that moment, it looked as if an earthquake was occurring. Great seismic wave. Meng Lai took a step forward and a callous roar came out of his throat. Following which, he bent over his body and and landed a ferocious punch on the ground ahead of him. Bang! The piece of land where he landed his punch began to rupture and an enormous crevice formed under his fist and tore through the ground with a lightning speed, causing numerous gigantic and tall trees to collapse on the way. The speed of the crevice extension was extremely fast. In a blink of an eye, the crevice reached within 10 meters of little flame. Then, the countless crushed stones in the crevice began to give off a dreadful energy wave. At this moment, the crushed stones materialized into a huge python that lunged towards Little Flame's chest with an astonishing speed. Bang! A deep and low sound resounded through the air and Little Flame's muscular body shot backward, snapping hundreds of gigantic trees on his way and whipping up sand and stones into the air. Had. Upon seeing this, a sinister smirk appeared on Meng Lai's callous face. However, just as the smirk appeared on his face, his eye pupils began to dilate. All he could see was a black figure surged outward from where Little Flame had landed. 
This sight would cause one to tremble with fear. Humph, a cockroach that can't be killed. After Meng Lai saw Little Flame was not severely injured by his powerful attack, the former's facial expression turned grim. Following which, he bent over his body and bombarded the ground with fist again. Another crevice erupted and extended through the ground like a thick black line, which surged towards the incoming figure. Bang! As the ground split open, a huge, crushed rocks made python that was engulfed by horrifying energy lunged at Little Flame. However, this time around, as the huge python lunged out, the black figure swiped out an enormous black tiger paw. The tiger paw was emitting a kind of dreadful aura and it eventually smacked the huge python with one swipe. Boom! A formidable force erupted from the tiger paw and the crush rocks made python exploded immediately. What? Upon seeing this scene, Meng Lai's facial expression changed drastically. And before Meng Lai could do anything, that black figure surged forward and Little Flame appeared in his sight. However, at this point of time, Little Flame's arms had been transformed into two black-colored tiger limbs. The wiggling veins on those tiger limbs looked like young dragons, giving off a frightening savage energy at the same time. This is... Meng Lai's eye pupils shrunk when he saw the two real tiger claws. However, before he could say anything, Little Flame clenched his tiger paws while his eyes were surging with a scarlet glow. Like a legitimate black tiger that was ripping its prey's heart, Little Flame's paw bombarded Meng Lai's chest without any mercy. Clang! A metallic sound rang through the air. Meng Lai's chest actually caved in from that attack. Luckily, he possessed the four Yuan Nirvana stages Nirvana Golden Body, otherwise, his heart would have been ripped out by Little Flame's paw. However, even though Meng Lai's Nirvana Golden Body was able to block Little Flame's abnormally powerful punch, his body still flew backward. Under numerous astonished gazes, he spat out a mouthful of blood. The entire area broke out into an uproar. The battle between Little Flame and Meng Lai was rather gory. Both of their punches landed precisely on each other's body. Everyone knew that if this kind of punch landed on someone else, his or her body would explode into a blood mist. That Lin Yan is quite, brutal. When Mu Lin and his counterparts saw Meng Lai, who was well known for his savagery, fell into a disadvantageous position in his death battle against Little Flame, they could not help but suck in a deep breath of cold air. Their facial expressions grew exceptionally solemn. Now, they finally discovered that each individual of the Lin Dong trio was comparable to a 4 Yuan Nirvana stage practitioner. In this way, they are equivalent to three 4 Yuan Nirvana stage practitioners. This kind of lineup and strength was much more powerful than those super empires. This discovery made the smiles on Mu Lin and his counterparts' faces somewhat bitter. Even though they were not considered really outstanding among the super empires, their foundation was still much more stronger as compared to other empires. However, at the end of the day, these three practitioners who came from a low-ranked empire still surpassed them. Even if they were sanguine about this disparity, they still held an unbalanced impression of the situation in their hearts. That Luo Tong, is so miserable, Mu Hanyu suddenly spoke in a soft voice. Mu Lin laughed bitterly and looked at the distant forest. Sounds of trees collapsing could be heard constantly. He could see that one figure was beaten up like a punching bag. That figure was Luo Tong from the Wind Cloud Empire. He was also a four Nirvana stage practitioner, and yet, he completely lost his ability to fight back in the hands of the devilish handsome young man. His opponent is sick in the mind. Mu Lin heaved a sigh. The odds of Wind Cloud Empire winning this battle seemed to be lower and lower. That was because the sudden outburst of powers from Lin Dong's camp was rather frightening. Feng King, is also being pinned down by Lin Dong. Two of them raised their heads and looked at the distant sky. The battle over there was extremely intense. However, even though Feng King had displayed his soul martial art, he still did not show any sign of stopping Lin Dong. When their soul martial arts collided, it even seemed that Lin Dong had the upper hand over Feng King. However, Mu Hanyu's beautiful eyes flickered and she spoke with a gentle voice, 
Feng King still has his trump card. Mulin's facial expression slightly changed and nodded his head. Until now, Feng King had not used the heavenly soul treasure that he had obtained during the auction. If the heavenly soul treasure's power was unleashed, Lin Dong might not be able to withstand it. Bang! In the sky, the ancient huge fingers once again detonated the four tornado palms that were incoming from various crafty angles. Violent shock waves sent Lin Dong and Feng King flying off for more than a few hundred meters. Following which, they stabilized their bodies in the sky with a hastened breathing. At this moment, both of their faces were pale white. It appeared that even with their strength, they could not handle the heavy exhaustion from the previous exchange of blows. Feng King wiped off the bloodstain on the corners of his mouth. With a sinister look on his face, he gazed in the direction of Meng Lai. The corners of his eyes twitched and spoke with a hoarse voice. I didn't expect all of you to conceal your capabilities to such extent. It doesn't feel good to kick an iron plate, right? Lin Dong sneered while stretching his numb hands. It's indeed slightly troublesome, but it's an overestimation to call yourself an iron plate. Feng Kang's mouth curled and traces of chilliness seeped out from his eyes. Soon after, he reached his palm and slowly said, Initially I still thought I would not need to use it. However, I could no longer stand the fact that you are still alive. Therefore, no matter how troublesome you are, I must take your life today. Ruthlessness flashed upon Feng Kang's face abruptly. Immediately, he clenched his fist and a heaven-covering black glow gushed out from it. Under numerous astonished gazes, a black-colored metal seal appeared. Feng Kang finally could not help but unleash his trump card, the Heavenly Soul Treasure. Chapter 578A, Might of a Heavenly Soul Treasure Black light swept across the skies as a black palm-sized steel seal suddenly hovered above Feng Kang's palm. Black Dragon Sky Roaring Seal The heavenly soul treasure from the auction house was finally revealed by Feng Kang. Seems like he has finally brought it out. A distance away, Mu Lin and the rest watched this scene with solemn expressions. Even though the battle was previously stuck in a stalemate, none of them dared to draw to a conclusion too early. Everyone knew that the battle was not over until Feng King used his heavenly soul treasure. However, when they saw Feng King take out his heavenly soul treasure, they also felt a complicated feeling surface in their hearts. Even though Lin Dong was merely at the three Yuan Nirvana stage, he was able to force Feng King, a peak four Yuan Nirvana stage practitioner, into such a sorry state and even forced the latter to use his final killing move. Even they themselves were not sure of accomplishing such a feat. This fellow also has the qualifications to possess a heaven nirvana seal. This group has truly hidden their strength, Mu Lin bitterly laughed as he said. Even though he had never looked down on Lin Dong's group, he had no choice but to admit that he had underestimated them. If they can defeat the Wind Cloud Empire, they will probably shock the entire core zone, Mu Hanyu's expression was somewhat complicated. To defeat a super empire with the resources of a low rank empire. In her opinion, this was perhaps a rare occasion that would occur once every hundred years. However, such an event was now playing out clearly in front of her eyes. At this moment, even though she was a famed ice queen, she could not help but exclaim in shock. Even though the Wind Cloud Empire is not considered as an elite amongst the super empires, they are no pushovers. If Lin Dong can defeat them, shocking the entire core region will not be strange at all. Mu Lin lifted his head, staring unblinkingly at the sky as he softly said, Of course, it still depends on whether he can withstand Feng Kang's next attack. The might of a heavenly soul treasures must not be underestimated. In midair, Black light slowly spread out. In fact, it seemed like even the dark red night sky was dyed red by this alarming power. It was hard to imagine that this astonishing scene was caused by a mere black palm-sized steel seal. Lin Dong's expression turned solemn the instant that black steel seal appeared. He could feel an extremely dangerous sensation from it. A soul treasure that was worth tens of millions of nirvana pills. Its powers allowed its user to challenge those who had a higher cultivation stage than himself. Since Feng Kang's strength was already above Lin Dong's, 
with the addition of this heavenly soul treasure, one could only imagine the perilous situation that Lin Dong was in. Originally, I did not plan to use it. However, you have truly exceeded my expectations, Feng Kang's face was grim. He stared hideously at Lin Dong, rich killing intent in his eyes. Consider it a blessing to die to my heavenly soul treasure. Feng Kang suddenly stepped forward. Evidently, he did not want to give Lin Dong any opportunity to resist. As he clenched his fist, the Yuan power within his body howled forth, continuously pouring into that black steel seal in his palm. Buzz! As Yuan power gushed in, a buzzing sound suddenly erupted from that black steel seal. Meanwhile, the crouching black dragon carved on the black seal slowly opened its tightly shut eyes. Buzz! The instant that dragon opened its eyes, a startling shockwave violently swept froth. Faintly, it seemed like storm clouds had begun gathering in the sky. Black dragon howl! Feng Kang's expression was sinister, sneering as he stared coldly at the now grim-faced Lin Dong. With a sudden change of hand seals, the black dragon's mouth abruptly opened. In the next instant, a vigorous and ancient dragon roar, that seemed to descend from the nine heavens, erupted. Roar! A black sound wave mixed with a destructive shockwave manically swept forth from the dragon's mouth. As the sound wave swept past, the forest below was completely blown apart. In fact, even the giant trees were shattered into tiny wooden shrapnels before they exploded into dust with a loud bang. The sound wave leveled an entire forest as it swept out. To think that the might of a heavenly soul treasure was actually this terrifying. Lin Dong's pupils shrunk as he watched the black sound wave swarming towards him from every direction. His figure rapidly retreated as his hand once again reached forward. A an ancient pitch black hand materialized and violently swiped at the sound wave. Humph! You overestimate yourself. When he saw this sight, Feng Qing disdainfully sneered. Even though Lin Dong's soul martial arts was powerful, his current attack originated from a heavenly soul treasure and was powered by his four Yuan Nirvana stage strength. How could Lin Dong stop it so easily? Feng Kang's sneer was not without reason. The instant the large ancient hand made contact with the black sound wave, it trembled violently. It seemed as if the black sound wave was so sharp that it was even able to slice apart energy. As the sound wave flashed past, it directly sliced apart the large ancient hand. When he saw his giant hand being sliced apart by the black sound wave, Lin Dong's pupils abruptly shrunk. This was the first time he had seen his great desolate imprisoning heavenly hand being broken so easily. Is a heavenly soul treasure so frighteningly powerful? Swoosh swoosh! The black sound wave easily crushed the giant hand before once again swarming towards Lin Dong. The black sound wave was just like a grim reaper's scythe, completely unstoppable. Lin Dong, let me see what else you can do. When he saw that Lin Dong was about to be engulfed by the black sound wave, Feng Qing could not help but laugh heartily. His laughter was extremely sinister. Huff! Lin Dong took in a deep breath, the black sound wave reflected in his pupils rapidly growing larger. In the next instant, his hand seals gently changed as the rich Yuan power surrounding him gradually calmed down and a faint green light slowly seeped out of his body. No matter how you struggle, it's futile. When he saw this, Feng King maliciously chuckled. As he clenched his fist, the black sound wave's speed increased as it flew towards Lin Dong. Green Heaven materialized dragon nose, scale shield. As the black sound wave flashed by, Lin Dong's eyes suddenly focused as a green glow burst out, transforming into a shield of green scales in front of him. The shield was approximately half a meter wide and there was a faint green dragon symbol floating on it. Meanwhile, a light and peculiar undulation spread outwards from it. This sound wave can slice apart the Nirvana golden body of a 4 Yuan Nirvana stage practitioner. You actually dare defend against it head on. You must be courting death. When Feng King saw Lin Dong chose to defend against the black sound wave instead of dodging, he immediately released a sinister laughter. Clang clang clang! However, just as an evil grin appeared on his face, 
the black sound wave viciously slammed against the green scale shield. Instantly, countless resplendent sparks erupted. However, contrary to Feng Kang's expectations, the shield was not easily sliced apart. Instead, the Lindong's green scale shield managed to withstand the incomparably sharp sound wave. How is this possible? When he saw this sight, not only did Feng Kang's expression change drastically, even Mu Lin and the rest, who had been silently observing, were startled as they exclaimed in shock. All of them could clearly feel just how terrifyingly the black sound wave was. However, they had never imagined that Lin Dong was actually able to withstand it. Chi Chi! As sparks exploded, Lin Dong's body was forcibly pushed backwards. However, since he had the protection of his green scale shield, the black sound wave did not cause any fatal damage to him. After releasing its destructive power, the black sound wave seemingly filled the skies gradually began to fade before they disappeared in front of the green scale shield. When the final bit of black sound wave disappeared, Lin Dong's figure slowly came to a stop. The already battered green scale shield exploded, revealing Lin Dong, who was standing behind it. However, there were now bloody red lines on his arm. Fresh blood flowed down his arm, a pretty alarming sight. Evidently, even though the dragon transformation art was able to allow Lin Dong to block the powerful attack that could kill a 4 Yuan Nirvana stage practitioner, he still had to pay a price. A heavenly soul treasure, is indeed troublesome. Lin Dong swung his blood-soaked arm as an endless cold surged in his eyes. Don't celebrate too early. I will slowly let you taste the might of a heavenly soul treasure. I have said this before, I will make you suffer till you beg for your own death. Therefore, I will not let you die so easily." Feng King maliciously chuckled. Promptly, his hand seals suddenly changed as streams of rich Yuan power continuously gushed into the black steel seal. Meanwhile, the body of the crouching mini black dragon gradually began to light up the black scales on its body becoming clearer and clearer. Black Dragon Sky Roaring Seal, Dragon Soul Appear Surging black light suddenly burst out from within the black steel seal. Amidst the massive black light, the crouching black dragon on the steel seal actually flew out as its mini body started to swell at an alarming rate. Roar A deep dragon roar ricocheted across the skies. The dragon roar contained the authority of a true dragon, causing the Yuan power in the area to rage vigorously. A black dragon soared into the sky as storm clouds gathered, a world-shaking sight. At this moment, the power of the heavenly soul treasure had been completely displayed. Chapter 578b, Earth Shaking Dark clouds churned in the sky, blotting out the sky. Even the originally dark red sky became overcast at this moment. Boom! The black dragon entered the storm clouds. Occasionally, it was possible to see an enormous body flashing past when the clouds flipped. The icy cold ancient aura of its seemingly metallic body emitted a ripple that caused one to feel fearful in one's heart. Countless number of eyes contained some shock as they looked at the storm clouds that had gathered in the sky. They could vaguely see an enormous being rolling within. That kind of special ripple and pressure caused even Mu Lin and the other experts, who had stepped into the Four Yuan Nirvana stage, to feel some palpitations within their hearts. There is an actual dragon soul within the Black Dragon Sky Roaring Seal. Mu Hanyu covered her red lips with her hands and exclaimed with shock. It should be an incomplete dragon's soul, Mu Lin's expression was solemn as he said, however, it is still extremely powerful. With this heavenly soul treasure, Feng King would be hard-pressed to find an opponent who could match him within the Four Yuan Nirvana stage. I'm afraid that things are looking bad for Lin Dong this time around. Boom! While the dark clouds in the sky rolled and the black dragon loomed, two fierce beast-like figures had also suddenly collided violently against each other at another corner. A deep explosion sounded. Fierce and ruthless fists violently landed on each other's bodies. The two bodies trembled intensely before they finally flew backwards with a loud bang. Fresh blood scattered, causing the place to appear extremely bloody. Little Flame's foot heavily slammed onto the ground. Numerous crack lines spread out from under it. 
the surface of his body vaguely possessed some flickering black glow. Only then did he manage to resolve the enormous force that had invaded into his body. Little Flame took a few hurried breaths. His scarlet eyes was filled with a fierce evilness as he stared at the other party, whose body was similarly covered with traces of blood. He is really not simple. Meng Lai rubbed away the trace of blood from the corner of his mouth. After which, he spat out a mouthful of blood. He parted his mouth in a manner that was filled with hostility, as he stared at Little Flame in front of him. Those eyes on that strong body of his congelated slightly. Clearly, he did not expect that he would be forced by Little Flame till such a miserable state. You might be able to entangle the old me but Lin Dong appears to be unable to last for long. Meng Lai raised his head, glanced at the sky that was covered with dark clouds and laughed in a sinister manner. From the looks of it, Feng King had clearly used the heavenly soul treasure that he had obtained. Since he had even taken this thing out, it was likely that the victor of that battle would have already been determined regardless of how troublesome dealing with Lin Dong was. Lin Dong can be considered as capable since he was able to force Feng King to use the heavenly soul treasure. But, everything will end now. Little Flame's scarlet eyes glanced at the sky. After which, he saw Lin Dong's somewhat miserable appearance, with blood flowing out from the latter's hands. However, Little Flame did not reveal any panic, something beyond Meng Li expectation. Instead, he had once again turned around. Those eyes that were staring at him were increasingly bloodthirsty. Big Brother will not lose this easily, Little Flame's voice was a little hoarse. However, there was a conviction in his tone that cannot be described by words. A fool who attempts to deceive himself and others. Meng Lai laughed furiously. My task is to finish you off. Little Flame leaned his body slightly forward. A monstrous killing intent surged out appearing just like a prehistoric wild beast that was about to attack. Finish me off? I will let you witness the strongest martial arts within my Wind Cloud Empire. Meng Lai laughed towards the sky. Immediately, he licked the blood on his face. The cruelty and fierceness in his eyes instantly became extremely dense. He took a step forward and changed the seal formed by his hand. An extremely frightening fluctuation was suddenly unleashed from within his body. Emperor Wright. A low and deep roar that was permeated with a dense desire to kill was emitted from within Meng Lai's throat. That fluctuation became even more intense as the ground subsequently shook once again. The momentum was several times stronger when compared to before. Surging Yuan power wrapped around Meng Lai's body. While his hand seal changed. Numerous strange deep yellow-colored vapor began to suddenly seeped out from underground. After which, it twined upwards, followed his skin and entered his body. Creak. Meng Lai's body suddenly began to swell. His muscles were strengthened while his veins pulsed, appearing just like a dragon. Within a short instant, not only had Meng Lai's body swelled to double his size but even his aura had become exceptionally powerful. This is my true fighting strength. Next, I will break every bone in your body. Meng Lai raised his head and parted his mouth to give Little Flame a cruel smile. His foot suddenly stepped forward and his body disappeared at that instant. When it next appeared, his body was already in front of Little Flame. Immediately, it gathered a fist wind that contained a terrifying strength as it directly tore through the air and ruthlessly smashed towards Little Flame's heart. Boom! Little Flame's arms once again transformed into tiger claws as they crossed each other in front of him. He forcefully received this fierce punch from Meng Lai. After which, his body flew backwards. A gigantic tree was blasted into dust in the process. Swoosh! Having gained the upper hand with the single punch, Meng Lai did not pause even a little. His body rushed out before another heavy punch that could seriously injure a 4 Yuan Nirvana expert, erupted from him. Boom! The black-colored tiger claw was extended out. It forcefully grabbed the metallic punch that had erupted. Little Flame's eyes were scarlet as his throat suddenly emitted a tiger roar. His enormous body also began to reveal a drastic change. Within a short instant, 
it had transformed into a fighting machine with a human body and a tiger head. You are actually a demonic beast. This scene directly caused Meng Lai's expression to abruptly change. Only at this moment did he understand why Little Flame's physical body was actually this frighteningly strong. Roar. The tiger roar shakes the forest. After releasing his beast form, Little Flame's fighting strength had clearly soared at a shocking rate. His strength, speed, reaction etc., were all comparable to Meng Lai after the latter had used the Emperor right. The strength surged and churned within Little Flame's body. He clenched his tiger claw tightly and smashed it out with a lightning speed. The wild and violent sharp fist wind directly collided with Meng Lai's attack. Boom boom boom. A circular shocking wind swept apart and those surrounding gigantic trees burst apart upon contact. The two of them had currently unleashed their fighting strength to the limit. The bloodiness from the pure physical fight was extremely thrilling for anyone watching it. Rumble. The dark clouds churned in the sky. A paleness gradually surfaced on Feng Kang's face upon seeing this. However, there was an even greater amount of wild and savage expression. He was aware that he would definitely be able to end this battle that had frustrated him, with this attack. Kill. Feng Kang's finger suddenly pointed towards Lin Dong. An icy cold cry that caused the surrounding temperature to fall was suddenly emitted. Bang! The dark clouds shook when this killing cry sounded. An incredibly large black shadow finally rushed out violently as an enormous black dragon extended its icy cool ancient metallic body. It appeared in front of everyone's eyes in a manner that shocked one's eyes. The air had crumbled and exploded under the roar of the dragon. Those forests below directly crumbled at this moment. An enormous pit had appeared within the short blink of an eye. Everyone's faces were completely pale in the face of the black dragon's attack. This kind of strength was not something that they, who were three or four Yuan Nirvana stage experts, could endure. Crack. The clothes on Lin Dong's body were ripped by the frightening wind pressure that was transmitted across space. Even with his powerful physical body, Lin Dong still felt a kind of piercing pain. He was aware that this attack by Feng King was truly a lethal one. Huff. A deep breath followed Lin Dong's throat as it was exhaled. Soon after, his eyes were slowly shut in front of the many stunned gazes. In the face of this shocking attack by Feng King, the current Lin Dong had actually gave up all forms of defense. That strength. While everyone was at a loss because of his action, Lin Dong's mind was scanning over the interior of his body with lightning-like speed. It appeared as though he was searching for something. Lin Dong's mind flashed through his body like a thunderbolt. Finally, it entered his danshan. A cluster of green-colored glow appeared. Within that green glow was a creeping green dragon. It meandered and held its body close together. A kind of shock pressure spread from it. This was the heavenly dragon aura that Ching Ji had left in his body back then. However, Lin Dong was only able to absorb this kind of frightening heavenly dragon aura a little at a time and he was unable to refine it. However, he currently needed to activate some of this strength now. Although he would have to pay a price, he remained unfazed. I need you. Lin Dong's mind appeared to have transformed into an invisible large hand as it grabbed onto the green light. Sizzle. Those tightly shut eyes of Lin Dong were suddenly opened at this moment. After which, he spread his hands and roared towards the sky. Roar. The thing that was emitted from Lin Dong's mouth was not a just a mere roar. Instead, it was a clear dragon's roar. Under this dragon roar, that black dragon, which had rushed over, actually trembled violently. However, those dragon eyes that were without any intelligence, also revealed a terror that originated from deep within its soul. You will not be able to take my life. Lin Dong laughed out loud towards the sky as he seemed a little maniacal. Green-colored glow swept out from his body in all directions before finally transforming into an illusionary large green-colored dragon in front of countless number of gazes. This, is a dragon's soul. Mu Lin and the rest were stunned as they watched the enormous green-colored dragon that had appeared. Regardless of whether one looked at it from its aura or the ripple that was formed, 
this green dragon definitely surpassed the black dragon. Could it be that this Lin Dong actually possessed a real dragon's soul? Bang! The large green dragon wrapped around Lin Dong's body before shooting out in front of the countless number of shocked and horrified eyes. Finally, it directly collided violently with the black dragon under these countless pairs of shocked eyes. This collision was truly earth-shaking. Chapter 579, Snatching Treasure The green light and the black glow spread over the sky in a crazy and wild fashion. Each of them occupied half of the sky. That terrifying ripple caused countless number of people to turn pale in dismay. The large green-colored dragon tore through the distant air. One could vaguely see Lin Dong's body within the dense green light. Fresh blood continuously flowed out from his body. Some injuries had appeared on that strong body which he was proud of. This was not as a result of an external force, instead it was the strong burden brought about by the eruption of the heavenly dragon aura within his body, something which was beyond what his physical body could handle. That heavenly dragon aura that Ching Ji had left behind within Lin Dong's body was extremely powerful. However, it was not a strength that the current Lin Dong was able to easily control. Even just by activating a portion of the power, it was still able to cause that physical body of Lin Dong, which was considered strong, to wound up with some injuries. However, Lin Dong was unfazed despite fresh blood flowing down his body. There was a craziness that would give anyone some palpitations flickering within both of his eyes. Go! A deep cry was suddenly emitted from Lin Dong's mouth. That green dragon whizzed and threateningly collided with the black dragon in a violent fashion. Boom! All the sound in this entire place appeared to have been annihilated the moment the collision occurred. Even time itself appeared to have slowed. The green and black light appeared to be two bright suns as an intense glare erupted in the sky. Following which, there was a frightening ripple with an indescribable violence and wildness. That ripple turned into a hurricane and swept down from the sky. The green dragon and black dragon crazily bit at each other. Their clash was earth-shaking. Feng Kang's expression was pale as he looked at the green dragon and black dragon, that bit at one another in the sky a short distance away. When he saw this tactic of Lin Dong, even he could not help but reveal a shock within his eyes, with his four Yuan Nirvana stage strength, the great strength that was formed when activating the heavenly soul treasure would cause even those like Mu Lin and the rest, who did not have any special technique, to be seriously injured. However, this kind of attack was still being completely blocked by Lin Dong. Originally, he thought that the victor would be determined once he used his heavenly soul treasure. However, the situation in front of him caused a chillness to surge up his heart. Feng King really could not imagine how Lin Dong, who only possessed the strength of a three Yuan Nirvana stage, could actually have such a terrifying combat strength. Even if he had obtained one of the inheritance of the four great mysterious sects, it was impossible for him to be so hard to deal with. Bang! Two figures that were covered with a stench of blood were ruthlessly clashing against each other within the forest. That fierce and uncontrolled strength shook the ground, forming numerous gullies in the process. Powerful wind erupted. Even the surrounding tall trees were turned into clusters of wooden chips. A frightening energy fluctuation spread as the two figures flew back by hundreds of feet in a miserable fashion. After which, they charged forward once again with scarlet eyes. Killing intent permeated their bodies. Fresh blood scattered and the ground was dyed by a blood-red color. The fight between these two could truly be considered a tragic one. This was an extremely stunning and bloody fight. The green dragon and black dragon continuously unleashed waves after waves of shocking energy ripples and they blotted out the sky. Even the dark clouds in the sky was forcefully torn apart at this moment. The many pairs of eyes that had gathered around this place were currently in a completely stunned state. Even those people like Mu Lin had a graveness that seemed to have solidified on their faces. The green and black glow continuously spread. At the same time, a raving expression was gradually surfacing from deep within the eyes of Lin Dong, who was within the green dragon. Roar! A low and deep roar was abruptly released from Lin Dong's throat. His skin was actually cracked, forming numerous wounds, 
while fresh blood flowed out from it. At the same time, waves of shocking green light came gushing out. Break! That mad expression filled Lin Dong's eyes. His hand was clenched into a fist as he launched it violently. At the same time, the enormous claw of the large green-colored dragon that covered his body also erupted out at this moment. Green light agglomerated on the dragon claw, penetrated through the air and smashed onto the black dragon's head within lightning-like speed. Boom! A frightening energy ripple exploded over the head of the black dragon. It immediately seemed to have spark a chain reaction. From its head to its tail, the body of the black dragon began to continuously explode. That dense black glow also swiftly became pale. Explode. The green-colored dragon claw clenched violently before that black dragon's head was forcefully crushed to the point where it burst apart. A horrified expression surged into all the eyes in the sky the moment the explosion occurred. The black dragon's soul that was formed when Feng King activated the heavenly soul treasure, was actually forcefully torn apart by Lin Dong. Grug. Feng King who had a mental connection with the black dragon, spat out a mouthful of blood when the latter exploded before his aura instantly turned weary. Clearly, he was seriously implicated by the black dragon's destruction. How is this possible? Feng King was still unable to recover after spitting out fresh blood. He looked at the black dragon's soul, which had exploded in midair with disbelief, as he screeched. How? The green glow on the flashed in the sky just when he let out a roar. A figure that was covered by fresh blood gradually rushed out from the body of the green dragon, which was gradually becoming paler. With a flash, that figure had appeared in front of Feng Kang. Feng Kang's expression changed upon seeing the blood-covered figure, who was charging over, as he hurriedly pulled back. While he did so, a blood-covered hand was extended out with lightning-like speed and grabbed that palm-sized black-colored metal seal. Lin Dong was actually thinking of snatching this troublesome heavenly soul treasure from Feng Kang's hands. Fool, I have already planted a blood seal within this treasure. You won't be able to snatch it just because you wish to. Feng Kang immediately cried out furiously upon seeing this scene. The seal on his hand changed as he maneuvered the black dragon sky roaring seal to escape from Lin Dong's hand. If you have planted a blood seal, all I need to do is to remove it. Lin Dong emitted a cold laughter. He looked at the wildly struggling black seal in his hands which was faintly showing signs of unleashing an extremely sharp black colored sonic wave. His eyes turned chilly as that stone talisman in his hand suddenly unleashed a white glow. The white glow gushed out from Lin Dong's palm and directly covered the black dragon sky roaring seal. When the white light covered it, Feng King suddenly sensed that the thread of connection he had with the soul treasure had actually been forcefully cut off. How is this possible? Feng King's eyes suddenly shrunk. A shock surged up his heart. He had already planted a blood seal on the heavenly soul treasure and even an expert who was one level higher than him would have difficulty removing it. Therefore, how did Lin Dong manage to do it? Haha, <laughs> thanks for your gift. I will be keeping this 30 million Nirvana pills treasure. The white light that covered the black colored metal seal disappeared in a flash. Lin Dong could not resist laughing out heartily. This item had finally landed in his hands. Numerous expressions in the midair were undergoing drastic changes. The eyelids of Mu Lin and the others began to twitch intensely. Lin Dong had actually directly snatched the heavenly soul treasure from Feng Kang's hands? Gurg. Feng Kang, who was already seriously injured, ended up hurting himself due to anger when he heard Lin Dong's hearty laughter. A mouthful of fresh blood was spat out. His eyes were vicious as he stared at Lin Dong. However, his body suddenly pulled back. He did not know just what method Lin Dong had used to snatch his heavenly soul treasure. However, now that he had lost the heavenly soul treasure, it was extremely disadvantageous to him if this battle was to drag on. You wish to leave? Hand over your Nirvana seal. The chillness in Lin Dong's eyes became even denser as he watched Feng Kang's withdrawing body. He strided forward and his body rushed out. Within a flash, he had appeared in front of Feng Kang. 
the glow in his palm agglomerated. He maneuvered the similarly nearly exhausted Yuan power in his body. After which, a finger of his swelled, transforming into a green-colored dragon finger. Green dragon finger. The dragon finger penetrated through the space. It carried a sharp aura as it ruthlessly rushed towards Feng Kang in front of numerous shaken eyes with a shocking speed. Feng Kang's expression changed drastically as he watched the dragon finger rushing over. Currently, he was already at his limit after the bitter battle earlier and his fighting strength was no longer the same as before. At this moment, all he could do was to squeeze the remaining Yuan power from his body. A gold-colored light circle began to spread. Swoosh! The dragon finger rushed out and instantly landed on the gold-colored light circle. A ripple began to wildly churned on the light circle. It's over. A dense chillness surged within Lin Dong's eyes. The corner of his mouth was slowly lifted. Buzz. The dragon finger swiftly trembled. With a buzz sound. That final layer of golden circle that was protecting him burst apart, forming numerous cracks. Crack. A slight sound appeared. Feng Kang's eyes shrunk to the size of a pinhole at this moment. Traces of horror finally climbed out from deep within his eyes. Chapter 580, Defeat and Death Qi A deadly without equal force penetrated Feng Kang's chest as fresh blood wildly spurted out. Under countless shocked gazes, Feng Kang's body flew backwards before finally crashing into the ground smashing through a dozen towering trees before slowly coming to a stop. Complete silence. Every gaze was locked onto the sorry figure, who's leaning back on a giant tree as he violently coughed out mouthful after mouthful of fresh blood. Feng Kang's aura was currently extremely weak. In their intense exchange, Lin Dong seemed to have emerged victorious. The silence lasted for a moment before finally being broken by a series of gasps. Gazes tinged with the flavor of fear once again looked towards the young figure in the sky. The young man stood in the air as fresh blood dripped from his body. As the wind blew past, the faint smell of blood spread out in the air. The two of them did not look overly at ease, but of course, after witnessing the previous intense battle earlier, no one dared to sneer at Lin Dong's current appearance. Their fight could only be described as totally stunning even for Mu Lin and the rest. They clearly understood that it was impossible for them to push the heavenly soul treasure wielding Feng Kang to such a step. Thus, even though Lin Dong had obtained a hard-fought victory, he had already far surpassed them. Under everyone's stare, Lin Dong's figure gradually landed in front of the coughing Feng Kang. The former's eyes were cold and indifferent. You win, Feng Kang wiped away the blood at the corner of his mouth his face deathly pale as he lifted his head and looked at Lin Dong. His voice was hoarse while his expression was one of defeat. Lin Dong eyed Feng Kang and smiled a little. He took two steps forward and gently patted the latter's shoulder as if they were extremely familiar with each other. At the same time, the rippling Yuan power on the surface of his body quietly weakened. When Feng Kang saw Lin Dong approach, he was stunned for a moment. Soon after, he forced a smile as his hand moved a little. A sinister look suddenly flashed across his lowered eyes while a cold flash swept across his palm, before he viciously stabbing at Lin Dong's heart. Squelch! The muffled sound of a sharp weapon cutting flesh was heard. The cold flash in Feng Kang's hand abruptly froze half an inch to Lin Dong's throat, the former's mouth gaping as he stared at the still smiling face of the young man before him. The latter's fingers had already penetrated his throat like a sharp sword. Since I am able to reach this stage of the competition, I am naturally not so naive, Lin Dong softly murmured as he watched Feng Kang with blood frantically gushing from his mouth, as his incomparably bitterly resentful eyes stared back. The victor will obtain everything while the loser will lose everything. Since you've lost, you will have nothing. I know that if I was the one to lose, your methods would be ten times more cruel than mine. However, it's a pity you don't have the chance to use them. Lin Dong stretched out his right fist. At the center of his palm was a resplendent silver nirvana seal. He quickly grabbed Feng Kang's palm. Within his palm was a golden nirvana seal. 
a heavenly level nirvana seal. Lin Dong's palm gently touched it as the golden nirvana seal in Feng Kang's hand faded at an alarming speed, while the nirvana seal in Lin Dong's palm swiftly turned from silver to pure gold. Absorbing Feng Kang's nirvana seal had evidently upgraded Lin Dong's nirvana seal to the heavenly level. Feng Kang bitterly stared at Lin Dong as the latter absorbed his nirvana seal, as if he wanted to say something. But the blood in his mouth had completely blocked his words. In the end, the life in his eyes swiftly started to fade and with a final thump, his immobile body slowly fell to the ground, causing a small cloud of dust to rise. This super empire leader, whose name had once shook Wangxiang City had now lost the qualifications to fight just as he had entered the core area, becoming one of the countless departed spirits of this land. Gulp. Mulin and the rest gazed at those indifferent eyes as the blood-soaked fingers were pulled out. Lin Dong's indifferent attitude had caused a faint chill to run up their spines. Evidently, they had never imagined that this normally gentle-looking fellow was actually so vicious when the time came for him to act. Feng Kang's death is akin to crushing half of the Wind Cloud Empire, Mu Lin sighed. Even he felt a little regretful to personally witness a powerful empire fall to such a state. I'm afraid it's more than just half, Mu Hanyu soft muttered, a complicated feeling in her voice. Upon hearing this, Mu Lin's expression abruptly changed. He immediately lifted his head to gaze at the forest a distance away. A berserk and cruel to the maximum aura had suddenly exploded from there. White Tiger Army Shattering Fist A tiger's roar followed by a shout filled with endless killing intent sounded out. As they faded, the forest trembled violently. The crowd faintly saw an enormous white tiger appear as a berserk to the maximum fist force containing killing intent and desperation flew forth. Boom! The ground shook as that punch was executed and directly tore apart a hundred-meter-wide ditch on the ground. At the same time, a soaring white tiger filled with endless ferocity and killing intent that was packed with every ounce of strength from Little Flame's body, solemnly slammed against that muscular figure, who could not dodge in time. Boom! A scalp-numbing noise sounded out. That muscular figure was immediately blown away as he manically vomited blood. Meanwhile, the golden glow shimmering on his body had completely dimmed. Finally, under the stares of the crowd, his body flew out before he finally slammed hideously against a large boulder. When the crowd saw that figure, whose upper body was covered by debris, all of their pupils violently shrunk. That was because they suddenly realized that the figure was Meng Lai from Wind Cloud Empire. However, right now, it seemed like that originally fearsome Meng Lei's body was twisted into a peculiar fashion. Boom! At the distant forest, a fearsome killing intent gushed forth. Following which, a massive figure dashed forth just like a wild prehistoric beast, before he solemnly landed in front of Meng Lei. Without hesitation, he immediately punched the latter's head viciously. Everyone's eyelids instantly jumped violently. Such a powerful and critical attack. Even if Meng Lai had nine lives, he would still die. Meng Lai is finished. As the dust settled, that giant figure quickly shrunk before it transformed back into Little Flame's original body. Everyone could see that there were numerous hideous wounds plastered over his body. Even though he had eventually defeated Meng Lai, he had paid a heavy price as well. Nonetheless, regardless of how heavy the price he had, Compared to Meng Lai who lost his life, he was evidently several times much better off. Under the stares from the crowd, Little Flame directly grabbed on Meng Lai's body. Following which, just like what Lin Dong did, he directly sucked his Nirvana seal into his palm. Immediately, the Nirvana seal in his palm turned golden. Bang! The crowds were stunned by this sight. At a distance away, another black figure was tossed until he eventually landed beside Meng Lai's corpse. As the crowds turned to look, they saw that heavily injured man, was actually the final four Yuan Nirvana stage member of Wind Cloud member, Luo Tong. Compared to the Feng Kang duo, Luo Tong had evidently kept his life. However, the fear in his eyes was so profound that no one could fathom its depth. Nobody knew what terrifying object he had witnessed in his previous bout with Little Martin. Boom! 
Boom. Boom. After Luo Tong was tossed out, five more figures were flung hideously towards him. At a distance away, Suro floated over with green glow surrounding her body, releasing extremely powerful vibrations. Based on this sight, it seems like the five three Yuan Nirvana stage practitioners from Wind Cloud Empire have been handled by her alone. Good job, little Ro. When he saw this sight, a tinge of shock flashed across Lin Dong's eyes. Promptly, he raised his thumbs at Su Ro. The green glow surrounding Su Ro quickly disappeared. When she saw Lin Dong praising her, her face gently reddened. Promptly, she asked worryingly, Big brother Lin Dong, your injuries. No worries. Lin Dong smiled as he shook his head. Ha, still a close fight. You guys were actually forced into such a sorry state. Little Martin's figure leisurely walked over from a distance away. When he saw Lin Dong and Little Flame covered in blood, his eyes scanned across their bodies before he teased them sadistically. We got into a rather sorry state. However, it was truly satisfying. Lin Dong smiled and he did not elaborate. Feng King and Meng Lai were indeed powerful individuals. Since they entered into the ancient battlefield, they have encountered several opponents. However, this is the first time that they had such a close fight. Nonetheless, the Wind Cloud Empire is over, Little Martin gently smiled as he said. Indeed they are. This phrase immediately popped up in the minds of everyone in the crowds. As their attention turned towards them, most of them deeply exhaled, as if they were trying to exhale the shock in their hearts. The two leaders of Wind Cloud Empire had died right here. Evidently, their super empire will fall as well. They were perhaps the first super empire to have been eliminated after entering the core region. Furthermore, the ones who accomplished such a feat were a group of men who came from a low-ranked empire. If news of this matter spread out, it would shock the entire core region. Truly to make one's name in a single battle. 